Hey Virgo, it's Meg. I'm doing your full moon illumination energy check for April. And we are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And this is the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Dominant, Christmas. And we are looking at what is being illuminated for you during this full moon. And then what kind of energy you're stepping into in regards to what is illuminated. So I'm going to look at energy you don't see coming. Get some advice. Virgo, here we go. We've got the moon reversed. So emotional undertakings. Talk about things being illuminated and coming to light. Things that have been hidden are coming. So this is kind of a double whammy. And here's the three of wands. So these are this is something that's being illuminated that's been holding you back from manifesting or holding you back from going forward into the future, keeping you stagnant. Wow. And Here's the tower card. So this illumination has to do with a huge epiphany, a grief. And here's the two of cups, kindred spirits, and the ace of wands. So why these kindred spirits have pulled away from each other or pulled their energy out of a union or a situation? So... Mm -hmm a really big epiphany around a separation. Let's get some clarification. Why people have moved on. Oh, I'm even hearing the word estranged. A big epiphany and illumination around why there was estrangement. And I'm also hearing why this was given up on. Why this is given up on this was such a soul agreement soul contract past life type situation what was the hidden thing let me ask what was this hidden thing this hidden thing has to do with some kind of manipulation it has to do with some kind of untruth and here's the person that did the the speaking, the untruth. Mm -hmm. And it seems like someone that other people respected, put on a pedestal, believed, believed, uh, had their best interests at heart. But he was the one who, he, I say, but this masculine energy was the one who spoke this untruth or did this type of manipulation that other people wouldn't expect this person to do. And it did have to do with resources, time, energy, effort, love, money, information, education, whatever is considered a resource. This is why this person manipulated. It was, I even want to say around money, but this resource could be different for different people. Let's take a look at what kind of cycle and what kind of energy you step into after uh, I hear the word drama after this drama ensues, but after this illumination occurs, here you are stepping into energy of self-care, energy of standing up for yourself, standing up for your inner child, energy of standing up for yourself and feeling like you did right by your inner child somehow. You protected yourself. So something that happened to you in the past you righted for yourself somehow this is this has been a long time coming this has been something that's been very emotionally disappointing and it's kind of come in waves over I feel like a long period of time this is also having to do with other people and this has been upsetting to other people so Having this knowledge or having this epiphany, having this illumination and these things coming out, this information coming out from hidden places is going to affect a lot of people. There's a lot of joy and reciprocation, generosity and money. So again, money, um, if money was kept, money is being given now generously. Let's take a look at energy you don't see coming. 
energy you don't see coming around this illumination. Here is a thief, courthouse, high honor, house, immature man. What's interesting is we've got the courthouse and the house, and they're just ringing together right now. So talk about a foundation. The actual foundation or an actual house could be in the conversation here. This mature man does remind me of the King of Pentacles card. And again, this is energy, not necessarily a man, but could be. So it looks like someone somehow took someone's power, took something very well, could have taken money or taken some kind of resources. But this truth is coming up, coming forward, coming to light. And the house card is actually all about foundations and safety in a safe place. And someone's coming to a place where they bring this information out or it is found out about this person who told this untruth. And it's coming out in an official way. So this wrongdoing is coming out and it might come out in some kind of unexpected way. Let's take a look at your advice, Virgo. A fiery climax approaches. So talk about the drama that ensues. That's kind of interesting. Those words are what or what we're being heard, what we're being said earlier. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Here's the page of swords. This is advice. This page of swords is talking about doing your due diligence. Don't, um, something about like, don't sit back resting on your laurels. Don't sit back and I told you so kind of thing. It's more like, okay, what needs to happen? What needs to be done here? How do I need to wrap this up, tie this in a bow, sign this contract? It's kind of like um, be action-oriented about and be smart. Get the things that you, get the information that you need in order to move forward so you're not creating a, a cracked foundation here. I'm looking for more advice. Here's the King of Cups. This is the in love king. This is a generous king. This is also a king that really is emotionally fulfilled. There's happiness here. There's joy and there's a victory with emotions here. I love that. And wow. Wow, Virgo. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. This is I'm even hearing divine retribution. How interesting is that? But this is getting very much material things. It could be a house. It could be money. But it's definitely getting, this is legacy. This is money. This is getting everything that you've wished for, everything that you've asked for, and even more. So that's your advice. It's like, this is advice also is talking about you creating a foundation and a legacy. I feel like there's somebody who has even estrangement, somebody who has really moved away or backed away from the situation. But this advice would say, don't keep that stance. Don't keep that backed away stance. Step forward and do what needs to be done in order to bring this full circle. Okay. I feel complete with that. All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. And I will see you soon. Bye.